Some parts of Houston got more than two feet of rain in less than 24 hours. The city was brought virtually to a standstill by the flood. Deluge brought on when Tropical Storm Allison stalled after coming ashore. Caught city officials and emergency workers are dealing with a flood of trouble thanks to what was Tropical Storm Allison. Allison is still dumping heavy rains on the Houston area, literally leaving drivers up to their necks. The remnants of Tropical Storm Allison have dumped more than two feet of water on the Houston area since moving ashore five days ago. Flooding homes and freeways, stranding families on the top down radios. Thousands of victims are still struggling with the deadly aftermath, racing for weeks, perhaps months of recovery ahead. More or less is like life. charge for shock trauma and emerge. Yep, and I'll Welcome see you in a few, Jody. Bye-bye. Baked a cake for Lily. Oh, how sweet. So will you come up at first break? Absolutely. I wouldn't miss that. How you feeling? Pretty good. He's been kicking like crazy ever since that storm passed. Now, just because he kicks doesn't mean he's a boy. But I'm talking crazy kicks. Hmm. By the way, you said he too. <laughs> Y'all save me some if I'm a few minutes late. Oh, we will. Memorial Hermann Hospital is one of the most technologically advanced hospitals in the world and the largest complex of hospitals, certainly in our country. Excuse me. First day today, Jeanette? No, but you are losing one of your finest, Mr. McKenna. You're letting her out for good behavior. They come, they go, so we march on. We do. So I'll see you at the staff meeting this afternoon? I'll be there. Hey, Steve. Afternoon. What's coming in? Level one trauma, mother and daughter. They're life flooding. The mom should go right into OR. The girl's being transported by ambulance. You'll see her and emerge. Otherwise, things are finally coming down. Well, that's good news.
Yes. That is Lily's cake. Lily who? In neonatal. It's her last day of work. Oh, look at that. You had no right. I can surgically repair this if it's a big deal. Wasn't she going to share? At the appropriate time. Didn't want it to go stale. Stuffing it into his face. Right in front of you? Foster's a piece of work. He's a piece of something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of these days I'm gonna snap his damn pointy head off. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are definitely some things about this place I'm not gonna miss. Well, it wouldn't be the babies. No. no. I'll miss you all. You've been oh. so much fun to work with. Well, definitely less stress, so. Huh? And an HMO? Not less, just different. Mm. There's got to be nice people who work for HMOs, right? <laughs> mm. Not as nice yeah. as us. <laughs> when I call over there, oh, I hope you're the one I get. Mm. Hey, make sure you leave us your extension number, Trader. You guys trying to make me feel bad about leaving here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this pig was so No, oh, it's me. Oh. Gotta go. Mm. I'll take that. I'm eating the <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> Two vehicle MBH, I was coming by helicopter. This is the daughter Ronnie Green, 14 years old. Her Glasgow coma scale, 15 out of 15 on route. BP stable, last one 14 over 80. Hi, my name's Jeanette. Can you tell me where you think we are? In a hospital? That's right, very good. Okay, now we are going to be doing a little poking around here for the next little while, and uh, I'm sorry about that, but we need you to try and hold as still as possible, okay? Where's my mom? Okay, very good. Pressure's down to 85. Second unit, man. Pressure's up to 100 systolic. Where's coming up? Right Go people is 5 millimeters and reactive. Dr. Foster scrubbing up. Pressure's down to 60. 400 okay. cc in the thoracil. What you got, Ray? Oh, well, rainfall's at zero. Levels receding in the bayous and drainage channels overall. How's it looking out there? Not too bad. Ground's saturated, but we should be all right if we don't get any more rain. Looks like we dodged a bullet. It's warm and muggy with continued clearing. If there's any justice, we're going to use those astral tickets after all. Oh, yeah. They play, I'm there. Row 37, seat 19, my butt is there. The rest of you, too, I hope. <laughs> this afternoon, 28 weeks gestation. Mom went to preterm labor. He weighs three pounds, eight ounces. First Apgar was four. He wasn't making respiratory effort on his own, so he was intubated. We've already confirmed placement with x-ray. Umbilical lines are in. We're gonna up it to 0.5. Yeah, I think it's a little much. Well, let's ask him. Okay. And the doctor, huh? Oh, yeah, he said okay. Yeah, through bolus feeding. All right. Hi, I'm Dr. Estrada. I'll be the doctor for your son. Do you have any questions I can answer right now? Is he going to be all right? Well, he's got a breathing tube, which will help him out. You probably know his lungs weren't ready yet. His vital signs are stable, but the next 12 hours are critical. 
When can I see him? As soon as we get him stable. And when can I hold him? Well, he's just made a big move, but as soon as he's settled a bit, I think you can hold his hand. I think you should rest now, Amelia. I think that's a good idea. Vitals? Heart rate's 150, BP's 80 over 40, and drop. Oh, we've seen worse. Young two units of O-neg till the cross match is ready? Oh, yeah. Scalpel. Scalpel. So, oh, I was playing roller hockey with my neighbor's kids the other day, and this little squirt high stick me. You hit him back? No, he was too big for his age. Okay, we're going in. <laughs> there we go. How's that helicopter ever going to take off the way you pack in those donuts? No worries. Anyway, we suspended a life flight due to some mechanical problems we've had from all the rain. So the only action emergency is going to see tonight is drive-bys. Well, that's always action aplenty. Well, you know it. Thanks. You take care. You too, Tim. Bye-bye. Hey, that was so nice of you to make that cake today. Thank you. Do you have to go right back up? No, I've got a couple more minutes. How's Cody? Oh, pure energy. We spent all day yesterday inside of the baby gym, did three sessions of gym Oh, that sounds exhausting. Oh, this weather's been killing them. My poor folks, they can't get Cody worn out enough to sleep at night. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to spend more time with him. He's so lucky to have you. And the teeniest babies in Houston won't be so lucky anymore. Oh, no, don't you guilt trip me, too. I can't pass up on the money. Mm. And these hours will let me see Cody way more. I know, you're doing what you have to do. I don't blame you. While I shook up the man. We got a ruptured spleen. My wife held down the roof. Where's the last hit liver? She man, she's got a lot of soft tissue damage. She never Whoa. Found me in. Where'd that come from? Clamp. Clamp. Yet she never put me on. Got it. Hang another liter of saline and have some dopamine standing by. She needed me, believed in me. Sponge. Now 70 on 30. She never found me out. Remember when you first came on as a candy striper? Mm. Right away, I knew you had it. Oh, no, I didn't know a thing. Well, that's true, but <laughs> it was clear that you wanted to and you turn into a great nurse. That's pretty. Have I seen that before? I don't know. It was broken for a while. It's a memory bracelet. Hal gave it to me after we lost Ellie. I'm gonna miss you, Jeanette. Mr. Reed, you still here? Well, she does better when I'm here. Well, you want to think about the long haul, though, right? You need to take care of yourself, too. The medication will help her sleep. Well, be careful. She snores real loud. Uh, you'll call me if anything changes. Of course. I'll see you bright and early in the morning, OK? OK, ladies and gents, I leave the good people of Houston in your capable hands. Uh, Chuck. What do you got, Ray? Looks like Alice is heading south and coming back at us. I guess your butt stays here. Contact number for the dad. The mother's still in the OR. Let me see. Yeah. Thanks, Charlie. Okay. Hi, Ronnie. How you feeling? Remember me? Jeanette? Where's my mom? Can I see her? Not just yet, sweetie. She's in surgery. We have really good doctors and nurses, and they are taking care of her. 
I want you to look right at my nose. Good. You know, we're trying to get in touch with your dad. Where's he live? Austin. Do you know the phone number for him there? I really want to see my mom. Is she okay? You try and stay calm, okay? You're gonna need all your energy for getting better. Do you remember what happened? All I remember is my mom started screaming. That must have been scary. I know your mom would be really proud of you for being so brave. Does she know I'm okay? Well, I can go tell her, okay? And I will check on her and see how she's doing. You get some rest. I'll see you later. Lena's out. Arteries are clamped. Where is all this blood coming from? BP is 60 by pal. Heart rate is dropping now. Sponge. Sponge. Yeah, hold this clamp. Can you see anything? No. It must be a retroperitoneal laceration. It's leaking badly. She's losing a lot of blood. Hang another liter of saline and get two units of blood up your stat. Yes, doctor. Pulse is weakening. Damn, she's still bleeding. Clamp. Clamp. We may need to angioembolize the singer pelvis. I can't see. Hold the Richardson. Pull. Pull harder. The storm dumped up to 10 more inches of rain, causing flooding in and around Houston. The Red Cross has set up shelters to people of the force. Good day, huh? I can't sleep. I feel I need to be with him. It's going to be all right, hon. He couldn't be getting better care. Some people say that babies choose to come into this world. They choose who their parents will be. And I don't want this baby to be undecided. I don't want him to change his mind. It's Jeanette. Oh my um, God. I had a, the weirdest thing just happened. There, there, there's all this water on the floor. First, I thought my water broke. Are you all right? Yeah, I, I slipped. There's a lot of water. Did you call maintenance? Yeah, I called them. OR's waiting on some blood. Stats. I called the porter, but nobody's answering. Well, you know what? Hold tight. I, I'll come down. You're a doll. Thanks. Uh, I'm glad I'm not out there. What's up? Oh, where needs blood, Stat? Hey, where are the war dates? That's a very good question. Well, oh, you want me to get it? No, no, you're on break, and I want to check on Jody. Hey, what's, uh, what's up with Lily? Why's she leaving? Uh, not enough money, uh, long hours. Any of that sound familiar? Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. Anyway, I'll catch up with you later. Okay, bye, Charlie. Hi, 
Who first? I don't know. Well, who all else is down here? Uh, nobody. You know, in the main lab on South after six. Here you go. Two units. Oneg. We need to get all this blood out of here. I know. You're right. Look, you take this, and I will take care of it. But you don't know the protocol. Where is it? It's in that policy manual on the top. Okay, now I know. You go. Are you sure you're going to be all right? I'm fine. Just go. Don't forget those black binders. They're the patient antibody files. Okay, be careful. Okay? go again. Allison's back with a vengeance. We're gonna get hit hard. There's gonna be nowhere for that water to go. How far are the bayou from the top of the bank? Two feet and rising. Elevate the alert level. Issue a flash flood warning for the entire county. Notify all agencies to get everyone in here. There we go. What the devil she have to come back for? Blood. I told him. Blood pressure falling, doctor. BP's 55 by pal. Heart rate is 45. Well, it took you long enough. There was a, a situation, doctor. This is a situation, too. It's called surgery. Well, the odds of success are greatly enhanced by the proper flow of blood. Is that understood? Yes, doctor. Sponge. Sponge, doctor. Hang the blood now. Try atrophine one milligram. Hold that back. Sponge. Sponge. Oh, my God. Jeanette! Jeanette! Yeah, I'm in here. Oh, Jody said you needed some help. Grab those coolers. Nathan needs to get those refrigerators out of here. Finish loading the O negative. Yeah. And the plasma and get it upstairs quick. Right. You take this one. I'll go back to some more in the kitchen. Buffalo downtown, White Oak, Sims in the southwest. Bayous are either rising or top of bank. Barriers should be up at all structures in the watershed. Chuck, Harris County 911 is just flooded out. They want to know if they can set up here. If they can get in. Uh, Houston Power and Light is on line one. Dave, Chuck. Chuck, flooding's reaching some of our underground facilities. If it continues, power could be affected in our service area. Where? Well, downtown and the Texas Medical Centers, they are both served by transformers that are contained in building vaults below street level. Any backup? No, we got pumps in there now. How many more do you need? Well, anything you can spare. Let's see what we can do. The medical Center's in the Braze Bayou watershed. What's their situation? Peak flow in the bayou is now at 15,000 cubic feet per second. Give him a heads up. You got it.
Hello. Uh, sorry to wake you, Mr. McKenna. Is there a problem, Eddie? Uh, yeah, well, we got a lot of water down here. Look, the Office of Emergency Management uh, called in an alert. They said we may lose city power. I've secured the generators. They're all parallel and running correctly. You keep me posted, Eddie. <laughs> yes, sir. We'll kick in in a second. these shoes anyway. <laughs> you okay? I was worried about you and Junior. We're okay. Good. What? Not again. Uh-oh. That's not good. Sir, uh, the basement's flooded. What? We're on emergency backup. The switches have flooded. We've lost power to Jones Pavilion, Robertson, Cullen, and, and Herman. The generators. Well, the water keeps gushing up through the drains. It's going on all over the dams. We're, we're going to lose everything. Shut them down. Shut them down. Light. No, down in there. Ah. Oh, come on. I'm losing her pulse. Come on. I see it. Clamp. Clamp. All right. All right. Sutures. Sutures. Okay, can everybody see? 
You've got your ambu bag in every isolate. These babies are going to be fine. The IVs have backup batteries. So let's start bagging. Okay. Got her pulse back. It's weak, but it's steady. She's a fighter. She wants to live. This is amazing. The sutures. Sutures, doctor. Right. You know, it's always darkest before it's totally black. You want to take a break and go skinny dipping downstairs, Jeanette? Shut up, Charlie. What? Afraid there might be crocodiles. Has anybody thought about leaving? How are we going to do all of this without power? Ladies, ladies, it's not a problem. It's an opportunity. Really shut up, Charlie. <laughs> Playtime is over. <laughs> Wish you'd stayed home instead of coming to work today. Wouldn't have been a bad sick day, huh? Phones are down, too. You think that's the whole hospital? Probably. Well, oxygen supply is fine. It's on a separate pressurized system that doesn't need power. Well, some of the machines have battery backup, too, but not the ventilators. Those patients we will have to bag by hand. I'm going to shock trauma. Okay, well, let me know what you hear. I'll keep every juicy tidbit for you, Charlie. Six inches of rain in an hour. Look at this. Downtown Houston's definitely got a problem. Mom? What's happening? What happened to the lights? Um, the storm knocked everything out. It's okay. I'm scared. Would you like a flashlight? I have an extra one. Just twist the back. Now you get some rest. Nothing else bad's gonna happen. Did you talk to my mom? Did you tell her I'm okay? Uh, she's dead, isn't she? No. She's dead. That's why you won't tell me anything. No, no, no. So you have to let me go see her. You have to let me no, go. No, Is she no, dead? No, 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 no. She, she was seriously hurt. But we are doing everything possible for her, and she's in the best of hands. Best thing for you is just to get some rest, okay? I'll check back. Can't get a signal. All the hospital lines are down too. Where have you been? Sleep? Try OR in the dark. Sorry, Dr. Foster. So how long's the grid down? Does anyone know? Well, they're working on it, I guess. Hey! My television isn't working! That's you, cable guy. Hey! <laughs> Thanks. Going back to basics, everybody. Feel for pulse and temp. Observe breathing and color. Don't forget to breathe yourself. You've got to keep the baby stable, breathing, and fed. Now, I want you to reduce lipids to conserve power on the IV battery packs, but make sure the remaining IV is providing their fluids. Right. right. Hopefully that'll do until the power comes back on. All right. Hey, Phoebe. Hey, 
the dock who turned off the lights. It wasn't me. I paid my bill. At first, I thought I didn't make it off the table. Open your eyes. Your procedure was like a dream. All your reattachments should be that much fun, huh? Yeah, it's your, it's your chest we'll worry about. Now, listen, you better stay out of trouble tonight if you want to hang on to that other ear. <laughs> I'm serious. I'll take you. Okay. I got a necklace off of Rest. Oh, well. What's the problem? Just checking the dosage. Well, why do you keep checking it? Did you give her the wrong medication? They teach in nursing school to check the bottle three times before administering meds, doctor. It's a normal safety check, standard procedure. How are you going to keep this patient alive without power? We do BPs by cuff, monitor oxygenation with skin color and warmth, and as you can see, we can bag how we used to as part of basic training before we got too fancy. We even had electricity then. of Tropical Storm Allison has dumped more than two feet of water on the Houston area, flooding homes and freeways, stranding families. At least 3,000 homes and businesses have been damaged, 10,000 families displaced. What's the latest, Eddie? Uh, like nothing about us. There's flooding everywhere. Mr. McKenna's calling around for pumps and generators. How long is it going to take? No clue. That's why he told me to go up to emergency and help out there. Any idea how to save a lot of blood without refrigeration? Um, we'll, I'll work on it. Okay, Eddie. Thanks. Yeah. six feet deep. The pumps aren't going to cut it. Not with flooding like this. We're not getting our power back. McKenna is trying right now to get generated. People are going to start dying soon, Jeanette, unless we do something. We've got to evacuate the hospital. Evacuate in this? Where to? With what? We don't even know if we can get out of here. What's the alternative? Right now is to hold on for dear life and do our job. Hopefully, they'll get the power up soon. You know how vulnerable my post-ops are. You know, besides your post-ops, we've got transplants on the ninth floor. Neonates. A burn unit on seven. How are we going to get all these people out without killing them in the process? Two by two, just like the good book says. I don't think your usual condescension is the answer right now. Look, it's not that I don't respect you, Jeanette, but I don't see what other choice we have. We move these people. We put them in jeopardy, and it could be for no reason. And it could be the only way to save their lives. Look, I've already established that this could be the best way the to save... The only thing that's been established here is that we are in a lot of trouble. I'm not just going to sit around and wait. Maybe we fight like hell, but with a realistic strategy. Base, this is Recon 1. We're giving you an update on our analysis of Tropical Storm Allison. Extremely heavy rainfall has occurred over much of eastern Texas. Over 20 inches of rain fell within a 12-hour period. Allison has turned out to be the flood of record for the Houston metropolitan area. We got flooding all over the city, especially the metro downtown area. The underground garage at Tranquility Park is flooded, Jones Hall and Jones Plaza, the Wortham Center, the uh, Alley Theater in the Theater District, the Bank of America Center, and all pedestrian tunnels. That's most of downtown. We need a declaration of disaster. We already put in a request to FEMA. What we get and when, there's no telling. In the meantime, we're going to need pumps and police department dive teams. They've already been dispatched. How are we doing on fire and rescue personnel? With flooding like this, the truth is we don't have effective emergency capability. Our vehicles just don't have enough clearance. Buddy, public works hear that? We sure did. Our fleet of garbage trucks and buses are standing by. They're all high clearance and have a better chance of navigating that water. Captain, we got your high clearance wheels. Well, I 
buddy. Damn it. What's going on? With no power, I can't get to the meds. Well, of course, it's all computerized. Well, get what you can off the crash carts. Yes, I'll have. While you're at it, get a crowbar. Oh, I will. We've got 79 babies, 22 on ventilators. They're level ones. We're okay with oxygen, but I don't know how long that'll last. Even by reducing IV power use, I figure we'll lose battery power by 9, 10 a.m. at the latest. And then we've got no way to get fluids into the babies. Now, I want every baby examined and a written rating of who is most critical to be transported first. And Lily, once we prioritized, I want each name entered here. This will be control center. Then get every cell phone you can and start calling. Yes. We've got to find places in other hospitals. Nobody's coming up from downstairs to help. They're completely flooded. We've got to be ready to move. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah, I'll do. Yeah. Doctor, I don't know how long baby Jeremy's going to last. I mean, he has to be priority, top priority. You are being so brave. Keep still. How are you doing? Do you need to be spilled? I don't know what I'd do if I lost any of them. What would I tell their parents? Oh, baby. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're amazing, okay? Down to 60. Wish we could get this. Lily? How are the babies? Oh, things are a little busy tonight here on 7. Uh, so you don't want to go down and get a coffee? <laughs> How are you holding up? Well, my hair's frozen. <laughs> Some send off, huh? Oh, I forgot all about it being my last night. No time to think, I guess. You know what? I am really glad you're still there. Likewise. Did you talk to Cody? No, I couldn't get through. I have no idea how he's doing. He usually sleeps through the night, but what if he wakes up in the middle of this storm and I'm not there for him? He's safe. He's in good hands. Yeah, but they're not mine. Lily, you are a great mother. Now, I know it's hard, but you're going to see him soon. We're getting ready to move these babies out in case the power doesn't come back on. Really? Well, you too, right? Well, that decision hadn't been made yet. Any news? Nada. It's like the world forgot about us. Lily, would you come over here, please? Uh, I gotta go. He seems distressed. His heart rate is dropping. I'll take over. Something's wrong. Something's happened. What, what is it? Jeremy. Jimmy, what are you doing? Be right with you, ma'am. What happened to the lights? We lost power. And emergency power? We've lost that, too. Where are the stairs? They're right there, but look, ma'am, I think you should just stay on the I floor. I didn't ask you what you think I should do. Okay, okay, hold on, Amelia. Wait here, I'll go up. No, I can't. No, Amelia, it's not a good idea. He's our baby, and he needs us. Fifth floor, Jeremy's on the seventh. You grab my belt, I'll go first. Tim, what's happening? Our copters are grounded, so I'm sending him to Fort Bend to have him lifted in. We gotta make a move, Tim. I saw what McKenna can't. No, he's waiting on an assessment. An assessment, okay. Incompetence and inaction lead to high casualty rate. Yeah, Memorial Hermit. How's that for an assessment? Or would he prefer massive loss of life seen as avoidable tragedy? We've got to move now. 
Look, that's not your decision to make. I've been contacting every hospital and carrier service to see what can be done if we have to evacuate from here. Don't ask them if. Tell them we need them now. Listen, Doc, I'm doing everything I can, all right? Just take it easy. Be right with you, ma'am. Things going to be fine. You doing all right, huh? I'll make it. We'll have a story to tell our birth in class now. You're doing great. Hang in there. I'm fine. Almost there. Where's my son, Jeremy? He's right here. <sighs> Jeremy. There he is. <sighs> Can I hold him? I want to hold him. I don't know if... I can't think of anyone better. Why don't you uh, pull up that chair over there, Mr. Walker? Improving already. How's she doing? She might need an inotrope for her BP, but uh, I think she'll pull through. Thank you, Helen. in here, isn't it? Well, maybe this will help. Did you tell my mom I'm fine? <laughs> well, you are some trooper, my dear, if you call this fine. But yes, you are going to be fine. And no, I haven't spoken to her yet. How old are you? Thirteen. Fourteen. I was close. Same age as my girl would be now. Where is she? She passed away. What happened to her? It was a long time ago. She was two years old when she died. But maybe you can believe me when I tell you that moms somehow know when their little girls are in trouble and when they're going to be fine. I'm sorry. What was her name? Eleanor Jane. Ellie. And it's right there. Is my mom still sleeping? Yes. And did she get a hold of my dad? 
No, but you know what? The roads are so crazy out there from the storm, I'm not sure anybody could even get here. He doesn't even know I'm here. He's not gonna come. diminished this morning, but flooding is widespread throughout downtown Houston. All available emergency equipment and manpower are stretched to their limits. The Office of Emergency Management has requested help in the form of vehicles and qualified personnel from outgoing areas. Emergency crews are working 24-hour shifts. FEMA has declared Houston a disaster area, with at least 3,000 homes and businesses destroyed, and over 10,000 families displaced. They, uh, they found another one. I don't know if this is the day we want to see. It's for you, sir, an emergency call. Thank you. Wardle. So Wardle. Yes. I'm Dr. Tom Foster. I'm the surgeon on call here at Memorial Hermann Hospital. Yes, doctor. What can I do for you? We've got no power. You have your own backup, don't you? No, we've lost everything. It's all gone. We need to evacuate. Calling for the hospital? No, no, I'm calling for the patients. I need to hear from the hospital administration. There is not time to go through the proper channels here, okay? We're talking about life and death. Well, I appreciate that, doctor, but you gotta understand we flat out don't have vehicles. There's no way we can get to you for three or four days. Three or four days? We don't have days. We've got hours. Look, I want to help, but I have no manpower right now to do anything more than we're doing. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. I don't care what he says, we're gonna need to evacuate this hospital. Can you put a patient list together? McKenna's here. Can the generators be salvaged? If we pump out the water, can power be restored quickly? Go. The public is being told not to come to Memorial Hermann. The roads are dangerous and many are impassable. Emergencies are being redirected to other hospitals. Channel 5 News has learned that if you come to Memorial Hermann, you will not get in as the hospital is closed. Memorial Hermann lost power this morning at 1 a.m. when its backup generators failed. Why can't we get in? These are just staff and medical students who work here, so the best thing you can do right now is to just wait, and we will let you know how your friends and loved ones are doing. My father's in there. All I can see our families. Hal. Uh, just a second, Dr. Foster. We need to evacuate, Hal, otherwise we're going to lose patients. Doctor, I'm aware of the patients. They are so concerned. Then we're wasting time. Have you thought about what it means to move critical and unstable patients, doctor? Burn victims, the risk of infection? It's because they're vulnerable, they must be moved. Our critical patients can't survive without power. There is no alternative. Jeanette? I know the risks are huge, but I think we have to be brave enough to give them a fighting chance. All I have to go on are my instincts and my experience, but both say that evacuating is the right thing to do. The logistics are damn near impossible, absolutely impossible. Where the hell are we going to find a manpower to bring 600 patients? Not up? all the patients are critical. Some of them can go home. This hospital has been in continuous operation for 76 years. It's not the building that makes this hospital great, Hal. It's our commitment to the patients. All right, we'll do it. I've got calls out to every hospital administrator as far as Galveston and every ambulance service I know. A nurse needs to attend to every critical patient. If I know my staff, every off-duty nurse is on their way here now. 
I need to ask you a favor, Tom. Um, your critical patient, Cynthia Green. I have her daughter in Emerge. The mother is all this girl has. They need to go to the same hospital. I'll do the best I can. Can I ask you one question, and you shut down the whole hospital? I pray to God we're doing the right thing. We all do. I'll make the announcement. Take it to the park! Clear to land on the Gregorville with platforming in the park! Watch that. How many do you need? All you've got, Don. I'm gonna need every ambulance your service can spare. Okay, Charlie. Woodlands Hospital can give us six beds. We're gonna have to bring our own vents and monitors with us, all right? Six beds furnished. Got it, right. Dispatch. Yeah, I found two of our ambulances. Keys are still in the ignition, except they're locked with the windows rolled up. What are you waiting for? It's hospital property. And we will let you know how your friends and loved ones are doing. Are you evacuating? Yes, we are evacuating the hospital. Now, obviously, it's better not to move patients, so we are hopeful that the power can be restored as quickly as possible. Thank you. This is command center. Everyone and everything that leaves this hospital must check in here. Notify your departments. Okay. We will need all the cell phones you can find and try and find some food and water to bring in. Are we really doing it? Yep. This is insane. Whose idea was it to evacuate? Yes, Who does he think Jim, he is? Jim, Jim, and mine. Patients rolling. Find out what's well, going on guess it's the only thing Shannon, to do. the water goes over there. Jeanette. Please have my post up in bed four ready to move right away. Okay. Oh, I believe we should begin with the cardiovascular unit, Doctor. Now we got patients in medical or just as sick. Yeah, hold on, we're never gonna get them out this way. Jeanette, we need to work from a prioritized list. Patients on vents and drip should go first. Let's go. Repeating our top story, administrators at Memorial Herman Hospital preparing to evacuate over 500 patients. Memorial Herman. It's just down the block here. Let's go. Maybe we can help. Chuck, the president's declared the county a disaster area. How long till we get help? Well, the governor is authorizing the guard as we speak. I don't care about the governor, the president. I didn't vote for neither of them. I just want to know how long it's going to take to get the city operating again. Please. Yeah, volunteers showed up, and we need to get them organized. Dr. Foster, what do you want to do with all the volunteers? Uh, let's put them to work. Let's break them into groups and assign some leaders. Excuse me, ma'am. We're a troop. Can we help? You bet. Thanks. It's great to see you. Okay, everybody. My name's Jody. If you would just line up over here for instructions, we could get you all to work. Thank you for coming. This is a big help. If you could line up in three lines. One, two, three. We'll get you all to work as soon as we can. We've got to move fast. Our oxygen's going. There's a problem in shock trauma. It's my unit. I want him to go first. He's the sickest. Were you aware of our priority list, Doctor? I don't care. He's the sickest. He's in cardiac Greenland pulmonary failure. He's a slow code. There are others who would benefit more. What are we doing here? Not as easy as it looks. Why don't you have a rest? We'll take over from here. I 
don't even know your name. Lily. Thank you, Lily. Hey there. We are going to get you to a hospital with real air conditioning. They're clearing everybody out of here. My mom, too? That's the plan. Hey, Jeanette. Oxygen pressure's low. We're running out. I'll see what I can find out. friends or family please check in here so we can keep track of you he needs with me folks could you take somebody else I i'm still not ready sure Watch the lines there. I just turned with him. Yeah, I got it. 
to prepare the babies. Make sure their examination summary and time of last feeding is showing. And just a reminder, even though I know you all know it, they must be kept as calm and as quiet as possible. Okay. Let's get ready. All right, Lily. Bundled. Make sure they're labeled correctly and be ready to go on their word, all right? All right, we're fully loaded. Bring the next one up. Let's go. All right. Okay, big scoop. If I could get you inside, that would be great. This way. Excellent. Lily, we have a problem. We'll have to wait on level ones. They're the most critical. There are no hospitals in the area that can handle babies of this acuity. I'll have to go to Galveston. We can move the less critical babies. We're going to take the level twos and level threes now. We'll or have to wait on the level ones. Let the others know. Clear out the units, we want to make sure nobody gets left behind. Yeah. 
That's my post op, Fed 4. Thank you, Doctor. Next ambulance up here. Here's Ronnie. I'll take it from here. Thanks, John. Okay. Jeanette, this patient isn't a priority, is she? She's not on the list. Sometimes there are other priorities. Mm -hmm. yeah, keep it here till the ambulance comes. It's me, Ronnie. Mom? I missed you. I love you. Thank you. I'll be talking to each other before you know it. Despite how bad she looks, she actually looks pretty good. I'll come visit, okay? Choppers. We can't wait much longer. At least we'll be that much closer if they get here at all. This is Chuck. Yeah, Mr. Wardle. This is Tom Foster at Memorial Herman Hospital. These are the tiniest, most fragile infants you can imagine. They already make a superhuman effort every moment just to stay alive, and they are not going to make it on our sidewalk. I would do anything in my power to help them if I could. I don't know what to tell you. Tell me you'll find a way. 22 babies. It's only a statistic I know, but not to their families. Not if any of them dies because we didn't try and do enough. Galveston can accommodate them, but we don't have the choppers to get them there. We need a status report on helicopters for neonatal. Things are getting scary up there. We got 22 babies who might not make it. We got babies, nurses, and equipment. Life flight just can't deal with them. All right, careful. The last one. Babies first. Make way for the babies.
<laughs> Not yet. After everybody else. We've got Perez, Hernandez, and Walker's right behind. Where do we put him? Jeanette! Jeanette, our life flight helicopters can take a couple of isolates when they get back, but after that, I don't know. Well, what are we supposed to do? Just sit here? I mean, time is not on our side with these babies, Tim. Doesn't sound like one of ours. see who this young, pushy doctor is. Chuck Warden. Nice to meet you, Chuck. So, what's the deal? Well, we haven't lost anybody yet. Nice going, Doc. Yeah. Hey, Wardle. You came through. Let's hope we did enough. Now? Am I the last one? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yes, ma'am. All right, then. What are we waiting for? <laughs>
great house. It's our commitment to the patient. How many of you? People are going to start buying suits, man, unless we do something. It's time to go. Where are you parked? I am in the basement. <laughs> in that case, would you like a ride? Sure. So which hospital should we begin rounds in first, Miss Makers? Oh, it's up to me. Did you really make that chocolate cake? You bet I did. This is me. Would you make one for me? Okay. 